Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we're trying a little something a little new. I'm going to film in a different way. My mic hopefully is working well now and there won't be any kind of static and any of that crap. So let's just get testing and let's get rolling with 8 Minutes with Aaron. What a week it has been. Last week was Comic-Con and Funko was jam-packed with a bunch of people trying to get all the con exclusives, even the ones that are in the shared shop, such as the Hot Topics, the FYEs, the Chalice Collectibles, the Targets, the Walmarts. Everybody was scrambling for Funko Pops. But you know something? I've been watching the Funko site for quite some time and I've been looking for three particular things. There are soda cans, they are sisters, and they can put a spell on you. That is right, I am talking about the Sanderson sisters, and I'm talking about Hocus Pocus. I'm not sure if anyone has seen the new Hocus Pocus 2. It wasn't that great. It, there were a lot of throwbacks that would bring you nice and snuggle you in and say, oh, I remember this back from the 90s. However, the story was a little meh. And for some reason, I really thought that if they were just a teensy bit, like, eviler, and, or, you know, they just, like, murdered somebody, like, in the first one, you know, in the beginning, you know, Zath Thackeray, I've had to pronounce it properly, couldn't save his sister Emily, and she, like, died, they stole her life energy. They should have at least stole life energy from one person in this movie. Then it would have been, like, a little dark and a little bit more sinister. They did have one song, you know, like they did, I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. Ta -ta. Uh, I can't really remember it, and I looked it up on my phone about 12 times, which variation of someone's hit song they sang in this one. But overall, it brings me to my main point, that it was a Funko release today for Thackeray standing on a spell book as the Black Cat. Now, I can only imagine that they're pulling this from Hocus Pocus 2. Because in Hocus Pocus 2, he, the black cat really didn't have any big significance. So, putting him on the Funko shop, there wasn't a lot of like, heat on this bad boy. And it was in the shop for a couple hours. That last time I checked around like 4 or 5, it didn't sell out. It's still up there. And Funko continues their surge of horrible drops on the Funko site. They're just not selling out. They, they, I gotta go in a different direction. I'm telling you, you drop something from like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, maybe not Dragon Ball Z, but definitely, in the, well, if it's a new, new mold for Dragon Ball Z, of course. But you drop something from like One Piece, as I said, 15 times, Naruto. Of course, it would sell out in a heartbeat. I am saying, trust me, it will. But like I said, they dropped the Hocus Pocus, Zachary Binks, and he was just there. And, you know, Hocus Pocus 2, like I said, wasn't that great. So, you know what? I'm just going to give this a Hocus Pocus 2 a thumbs down. Sorry, you were not as good as the original. Granted, I wasn't trying to do a little review, but I'm just throwing it out there. Bad drop. So, we need a little bit of excitement, right? I think I do, and that is because there are going to be NFT releases next week on, I think, what, the 18th? I don't have my phone with me. Uh, but I believe they're going to be Freddy Funko inspired. Uh, so maybe they're going to be Halloween 2. Because I think they released one last Halloween. Or some sort of Freddy Funkos. Don't, don't quote me. You, you know me. I'm very wishy-washy with the information that I say. Some stuff I, I guarantee is definitely true. But <laughs> some of the stuff I say I'm just like making up as I go along. Uh, but I know there is an NFT drop <laughs> next week. There is going to be some pretty cool Freddy Funkos. It's probably going to be a limited count. I know with the Lord of the Rings, there were a lot. I think there were like 35,000 packs. I think the Freddy Funko that's coming up is going to be more limited. Uh, probably under 10,000. I'm just going to guess under 10,000. They're going to make it scarce. Uh, I think there's only four or five redeemables. And one of the redeemables is included is that royalty one where you collect every set except, you know, the, the Grail and the Legendaries. Because I think the Legendaries are the ones that give you that redeemable Funko Pop. So that's going to be pretty cool and hopefully they will have something that is uh, up to par with the Freddy Funko they released at the Fright Night party uh, on New York Comic Con. I'll put a picture, I should really know this by now, uh, down here. Damn, no, 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 probably up here. And uh, that one was really cool. I think it was glow in the dark. Like I said, don't take my word 100%, but that thing was badass. 
I did get the one. Yeah, here's a little spoiler. I did get Freddy Funko Fright Night 1, which was in, he's, I guess, in the costume. And he has like a, a bag that he's in the Funko shop booth going shopping for Funkos. And then at the Fright Night party, they got the cooler one, Freddy Funko Fright Night 2. That glow was in the dark and he's got like a skeleton outline on his body. Like I said, I'll show you a picture. I, me describing it does not make up for anything for it. You know, I might even try to get one of those once the price comes down. So I'm sure they're very expensive at this time. Unless they release them for the NFTs. Then I have a shot. Then I have a shot. So um, I did want to open up a Funko Pop because I knew I was not going to fill this time up in eight minutes. Uh, so I am going to grab something right over here. So before I take this from behind my belt, uh, I ordered some Funko Pops from the Funko shop and I was going to open them in another video. Of course, you know, things started piling up and I didn't get to it. So when I ordered these two Funko Pops, it's one Funko Pop, just two of them, they actually gave me a free gift. And we're going to open up that free gift right now. And it is the... <clears throat> The Flash DC Imperial. It's the Imperial Yellow Flash. A lot better. I just saw the outside of the red box. I'm like, oh, that's just a regular Flash. Uh, now I will do a little spin of Rooney on this box. He did look really cool. At first when they did drop this Funko Pop, because they did actually have a release for it, I was going to get it. <clears throat> I was. But then I said to myself, I'm not going to collect all the Imperials, so forget it. And then I got the Martian Manhunter one, and I don't know if they have any other ones, but this could have been the one that stopped me, and then all of a sudden, this one completes them, and now I've got to start all over again. So now what am I going to do? i got to look up all the Imperial ones, which are probably in a box. Oh, look, they're down here. No, they're down here. I don't got to look in a box for them. There's Batman and Joker and Robin and Harley Quinn, and that's it. And then they have the Chases, and then the other Batman, that's the Funko exclusive. But yeah, this guy's pretty cool. Um, let's try to open him up. Whoa! Uh, no, I thought the box was messed up, everybody. You know me. <laughs> I thought there was box damage. Ugh. All right. We're going to take this guy out real quick before the end of the video. Just to give him a little look-see-daisy. All right. Now, there is no stand, so that means he will stand up on his own. Unfortunately, he is not a bobblehead. But remember, most Marvels are bobblehead. Most DCs are not. So here he is. Pretty cool. I like uh, the, yeah, I do really like the uh, lightning bolt in the front of this chest. I like the design. Uh, it looks like they put a lot of work into this. Uh, maybe a little bit more work than any, or like a lot of other Funko Pops. He does stand on his own, like I said, so he does pass the test. And what I have to say is, whoa, I almost ended it without giving this bad boy an up or down. And he is the reverse Flash, right? Why would he be yellow if he was the Flash? Unless this is like a chase variant. No. No, no, no. I think this is the reverse Flash. I don't know why you have him in a Flash box, though. Doesn't re And a hero? He's not a hero. I'm going to have to look this up. Or somewhere in the comments, let me know. Now I'm just wasting time. All right, I'm giving this bad boy an... Whoop! That's right, he is getting in. Whoop! Flash, I don't know if you're supposed to be reverse Flash or what, but I'm going to have to find out sooner or later. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I hope the audio and the video came in a lot clearer. If it didn't, please leave down in the comments what you would like to see. If you want me to go back to the other way, eh, it doesn't matter. The only thing is that I'm making you smile every time you watch at least two seconds of my video. I will see you later. So long.